Willie D Live. What, what, what the haters talking about? What's up, family? Let's talk about an uncivilized mutt. There's a 15 year old dummy who was mad at his grandma. So he made a diss song about her. Talking about hitting her in the chest with the stick and called a hoe, called his grandma a hoe. Family. All of this because she allegedly said that he was missing. She reported him missing and he said something about she said she was going to get him and you know say so he's standing on business. That's what he said. I'm standing on business. It ain't gonna be long, fam. It ain't gonna be long. If there's an end of the world, it's coming. If there's going to be an end, it's got to be very near. Because this, you file under things I thought I would never, ever, ever hear. Dude made a diss song about his grandma. He dissed his grandma, talked about popping her, called her hoe. I'm not gonna even tell you his name because I don't want to give him any more shine than I need to give him to, to make my point. They said a disobedient child will not see all of his days or something like that. He, he could very well be that child we're talking about. What goes into your head that screws you up so badly that you go in the studio and you make a song disrespecting your grandma? I don't know if he did it at home or he actually went and paid somebody to do that, but even if he did, What's the name of the studio? You got to get the name of the studio so we can shut it down. It's one thing to have a, a clown coming up with something like this. It's another thing for another clown to say, say it again. Uh, okay, redo that part right there and sitting up there mixing it. Talk about the blind leading the blind. Here's what needs to happen, for starters. Every male figure in his family need to get together. And they need to throw him a party. A party where he gets all the action that he's looking for. Everything he thought he was need to be revealed in that moment. Everybody got to get in on the action. Even the males in his family that got pampers on. Even if they're wearing pampers, everybody need to get a lick in. Even if just get a little baby with the pamper on, just, just give them a bottle, anything, and just make sure the bottle is glass and just let it, you know, Everybody need to get a lick in. Who the hell raised this uncivilized mutt? Family, there are certain things that I've done and I am ashamed of. But there are some things, man, I'm, I just do not. And I can live with it. I can live with some of the things that I'm ashamed of. I can live with it. There are certain things I just don't want on my record, man. That's one of them. I'm glad that with all of the crazy things that I did, that's not one of them. 
if he would diss his own grandmother, if he would make a song talking about riding on his, not just dissing her, but cussing her out, calling her a hoe, talking about shooting her, clapping her like a regular op. Imagine what he would do to anyone else. He can't be trusted. He cannot be trusted as a friend. He cannot be trusted as a companion. He can't be trusted in any capacity. He gone. Like, like, like the doorbell is ringing, but nobody's home. Good God. This dude talked about shooting his mama, his grandmama in the chest. Now, he apparently lived with his grandma. So right there, there's a disconnect. Why is he living with his grandmama and not his mama or his daddy or both? And you would think if grandma would allow her grandson to interrupt her life when she's just trying to live her life out and be comfortable, stress-free, no kids, do what she want to do, when she want to, go where she want to go, when she want to go, and ain't got to worry about somebody coming in and out of her house or feeding an extra mouth. You would think grandma will get the utmost respect. A lot of these youngsters are killing their grandmothers and grandfathers, literally. Yeah, yeah, I've heard many cases, not just one or two, many cases, where youngsters have plotted and killed their grandparents. But they're also killing them slowly, psychologically, mentally, they are driving these grandparents crazy, running them into an early grave because they are stressing behind them. They are here doing everything but the right thing. They're ripping and running the streets, being disrespectful, can't keep them in school, wanting to fight the teacher, fighting the teacher, fighting the students, fighting the boat, just fighting and fighting and fighting. And it's sad to say, but they are going to meet a very bad demise, most of them, or many of them. Whether it be a gang of years in prison or a cold, cold spot in the mortuary, they going. Ain't nothing good is going to come from that. Nothing's good going to come from it. Yeah, he's going to get some attention. And that's all they want these days. They just want to get some attention. And they'll try to get it by any means. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. They sit around all day thinking with that little warped piece of brain cell that's left in that little bitty head. What's the most disrespectful thing that I can do? Uh, what's something low frequency, lower than what I did before? Uh, oh, that's it. Here's the deal, fam. Being disrespectful is the low-hanging fruit of attention. It doesn't require any talent. Anybody can do it. It's kind of like selling drugs or twerking. You might get you some attention, but the consequences are dire in most cases. Oh, your luck will eventually run out. And when it does, I want you to be reminded of that good old phrase, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk.